Uh, where is Yusuke? I guess we'll find out tomorrow because I'm pretty sure... Oh, there he is. He's in Ueno. Of course, because that's a that's the art museum place. Uh, let's save Yusuke for last. We saved the God of Life and the God of Death for last. I didn't realize. All right, God of Life first. But if your perfect world is one that has all those flaws, it would still be perfect to you. No, but you're not understanding, understanding what I'm saying. Is that you can't... You can't perfectly predict is the thing. Because, like... It's it's like uh you can't under you can't fully ever understand what someone else is thinking perfectly. Like I don't understand Michael's uh I don't understand Michael's full thought processes. And Michael can say or do something that just I never would have thought of. He's done that before. He's in a list. He's done something. Specifically, specifically Slyro. I have the perfect example. I was doing we did a top 10 IQ character list the other day. And Slyro put, uh, what's his name? I think his name is Tendo. He put the guest monster, Tendo, from Haikyuu in second place. It was his second favorite character in all of Haikyuu, and I was floored. I was astounded. I never would have thought that Slyro would have done that, so that's exactly what I mean. I can't think up a flaw like that for Slyro to have in my perfect world, but the fact that he did that, I was astounded, and I was like, that's hilarious. I can't believe you've done this, and then we had a discussion over it. That never would have happened if I had perfect control over my own perfect reality, because I could never think of something like that. That's that's the flaw. That is the one true inherent flaw. There's no amount of like, oh, Maruki made a mistake. It's just a fact of a universe like this where you can make everything perfect that there's you miss out on things like that where you cannot come up with it because, you know, there's only so much that you can come up with on your own. That's why you make friends and have discussions and everything and have all these other things happen. And you get stimulated from other things that are outside of your control that change you and mold you as a person. And when you have a perfect reality like this that's based entirely on only what you think and what you want, that completely ruins that in every way and makes it impossible. Can I have you as my therapist? I do have a degree in uh, psychology, but I'm not really like licensed for therapy. Slyja, thank you for following. Much appreciated. This is, you guys are getting a taste into what happens when I do anime lists with my friends. This is like, this is how I talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid. It's not for sure for or nothing yet anyway. I'm just saying the school's gotten word or something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you're able to bounce back. Darn it, his knee was already broken. What's another way we can mess up Ryuji to get him to realize? No way, man. Ah, uh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Ryuji is laughing happily with the other members of the track team. Seems this is reality that... It seems this reality is the one that Ryuji wish, wished for. Perfect reality, there will be never be great works of fiction or scientific development since it's created by an individual. Yeah, you can't, like, experience new things. Like, uh, if this perfect reality stuff happened before I got to read Magi or read Naruto, I'd never get to experience Magi or Naruto, which are my favorite anime and manga, my first and second place, respectively. Magi at two, Naruto at one. Because I never would have thought up something like that. I needed Kishimoto and, uh, I don't know the name of the author of Magi to come up with it so that I could experience it. So, you know... It's, that's the inherent flaw in this. In this kind of, like, infinite Tsukiyomi. That's the best... Obviously, I'm a Naruto fan. That's the example I always think of. This infinite Tsukiyomi-esque setup. That's the main flaw that can never be fixed. So, that's that's the problem. There doesn't need to be any amount of, like, oh, Maruki made a mistake or something. It's just the very basis of it is... It doesn't work in the long run if you actually really put some thought into it. It works in the short term because you're like, oh, this is everything I ever wanted. But in the long term, you're you're going to realize, like, this is terrible in the end. Steal Ryuji's elevator. That will snap him out of it. <laughs> Seems this reality is the one that Ryuji wished for. Hmm? Akira, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. You could give other people the free will to come up with those ideas? No, you couldn't. You couldn't give... If you give people free will, that ends your perfect reality. The idea of your perfect reality is that everything does exactly as you want. If you give someone else free will, then that's broken. Because they could... Yeah, maybe they'll make something like... Maybe they'll make a great work of fiction that you'd enjoy. But what if... You don't know who does that or what it would cause. What if you give free will to Kamashita And then he starts abusing people. 
there's that then the perfect reality is over it's done there's no way you can do that it's impossible so it just it literally does not work maybe you stop by to congratulate you too man someone sure is popular is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice it's our treat today oh it's nice of you guys how about an extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup hey why don't you come with us akira enjoying the return to track uh yeah yeah it's fun but what do you mean it's just what i like doing you know i get all down when i'm not running do you like this reality what do i like it <laughs> what are you talking about well i guess i did do a heck of a lot of growing last year if it went for all that i'd be a totally different person now wait huh is something wrong here how do we know each other anyhow First, we met in front of the station by school, then... I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here goes! Whoa! Whoa, what the heck was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya! Sorry, I gotta get back to practice. See ya. Ryuji went a little bit of owl mode right there. Did you guys see that? I'm telling you, the more and more I look into this game, the more and more I'm convinced that Ryuji and Makoto might be the OTP. My little sister's been telling me to fix her PC. She's always been the bossy type. Study abroad? No thanks, I'm having a great time here. You work at a maid cafe? Well, I never would have guessed with you. Huh? Really? It's the best job I've ever had? Have the store attendants here always been so friendly? I gotta crack open a cold one. I haven't taken a drink of Gatorade all day. All Maruki needed to do is give himself a perfect reality where he gives everyone else a perfect reality. Exactly! Problem solved. Ryuji seems sincerely happy about being able to run with his fellow track team, and then it's the same text as always. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Yeah, it's uh, the god of death himself, Yusuke. One more to go. Bam, bam, bam. Lone Wolf, your pairing list is incorrect. Shibuya. Should be Joker with Shibuya. Hifumi and then... Akechi, yeah, Akechi and Haru, yeah. That would still be, that'd be really difficult to work, but again, I'm coming around to it. It's fine in this perfect reality where Akechi apparently didn't kill her dad. I mean, Haru's dad was kind of a dick. To be honest, I'm not saying Akechi was right. I'm just saying maybe he did her a bit of a favor. I can see Yusuke in the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him. What a coincidence. Ah, uh, you came too, Akira. I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only, so I'm glad we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am at this moment. Whose patronage was that? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course. Madarame. Even after mother's passing, sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. In Yusuke's perfect world, his mother is still dead? How is this perfect? Akechi's ideal reality is a few rounds in the octagon with Shido. You're right, except Akechi has a gun, and Shido is unarmed. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. Truly cannot thank him enough. In this perfect reality, is Yusuke, like, is Madarame a good guy? Or is Yusuke just unaware of him not being <laughs> the scum? Yusuke is so happy. 
Seems this reality is the one that Yusuke wished for. I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Must everything be perfect? No. Well, I wouldn't say that everything has to be perfect at all times, but... What's this about all of a sudden? Sayuri looks great there. The... Sayuri? That's not the painting's name. No, wait. That seems... Something's not right. Don't doubt Shido's arms. That's why... That's why Akechi has to have a gun. Because Shido is way too buff. You know what? I have faith in you. I... What is... Can I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what transpired. <clears throat> Akira, hi. My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. He never knew his mother, so he can't really imagine her. D again, this just perfectly proves my point of what is actually wrong with the perfect scenario reality. Because you can't conjure up new people in your mind to meet. So you miss out on meeting people. What if... So, is, perfect example is like, what if... You know, what if the perfect reality stuff happened before I got to meet Hafumi? I'd never get to meet the perfect waifu. I would have missed out on her because this perfect reality is a load of trash. But I'd like to be alone for now. Guess I should head home. It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. By all means. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off and his research was ended for him. So his research was stalled. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Probably Shido. Yo, this music! That's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. What do you mean? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. What happened to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. It seems the Phantom Thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. The plot. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions, and rather convenient ones. What do you make of it? 
Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Don't worry about it. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Odaiba with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before. You know, that stuff about my happiness. Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. We really don't even have a spare pillow for the cat. Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. Do, 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 do. Save. The cat doesn't uh, deserve a spare pillow. So you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. I'm gonna be real with you, Akechi. You're the only partner in crime I need. I'm sure they'll come around. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. Healer Ryuji has served his purpose against Yaldabaoth. I don't know if you're aware of this, but when you have a catchy on your side, that supersedes any other difficulties. Like, we've, we've already won. Maruki just doesn't know it yet. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Wait, I missed something. What did you just say? Oh, we'll have to con- Yeah, yeah, we're good. Oh, wait. Can I, uh, I- I still can't fast travel? Get me out. How about this? Are you ready? Good to go. No. Well, shall we part. go then? 